Yeah, so everybody knows that uh, I'm slouching at the moment because you are you're taller in this one. Hello and welcome to the last Game Fed video of this year. My name is Jack in Action. And I'm Nido. And we are here today to do a sort of top 10 thing, but instead we're going to be looking at every member of the Federator's favourite game, starting with Jamie. What's her favourite game? I think it's Gun the Woods. Let's have a look. Now we haven't played this game before, but it is a single player adventure game and it's about an only child slash kitten thing. I mean, guess it would call it a cub. Uh, returned home to Possum Springs. And uh, it's a, I can't even read that. Dark, Dark mystery. mystery. Dark my story, that's what I read. <laughs> I'm good at writing this. Um, <laughs> There's a dark story behind it, but it's um, shadowed by this really kind of artsy feel to it, I think. Right. So, um, you and I have both watched the trailer, and, and you really like it. I do. I actually want to pick it up because it's available on PS4. Uh, I really like the character dialogue. I like the variety of gameplay. There's a bunch of mini games with mm -hmm. like guitars and mm -hmm. stabbing, and I, I've got no, I've got no context whatsoever. Uh, apparently the reviews say uh, that it's based on, uh, not based on, it's got the vibes of Gone Home. Have you played that? Uh, no, no. The thing is about Gone Home is that it's quite a serious story, like, uh, no spoilers, but basically it's it's about family drama. It's probably the closest you'll ever get to a stage play uh, in a video game where you watch a kind of family breakdown through gameplay mechanics. The thing was, even though, even though I can feel that kind of vibe in the aesthetic, the beyond that, I'm not sure I entirely agree. It seemed kind of more like a dark tip of the hat. Like if H.B. Lovecraft or something like that was mm -hmm. like writing a tale, but he's making fun of himself. Uh, did you get did you get that impression? Yeah, I think if Gone Home has this kind of family um, idea, perhaps there's there's a family element in it. True. Yeah, maybe maybe that's something to do with it. Again, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very keen to play it. Uh, mm. If you guys are keen for a let's play of that, let me know, because I'm planning to play that. <laughs> so, maybe at the very end. How much does it cost, roughly? $20 USD. Okay. So, uh, I think that'll probably be about 40 in Australian dollars, because we have terrible luck. Mm. Um, that's good for the economy, stupid! Um, <laughs> so, next one. Uh, yes, so your one, mm. Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, uh, now that's actually a, a tie, uh, but I'll get into that. So the first one is Super Mario Odyssey, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to be said if you've played the game or even seen a trailer, you kind of get the vibe of what it's about. Uh, I've said this before, uh, it to me, it's like the ver like like a proud father. Nintendo's a proud dad, mm. like harassing people on the street with photos of his baby, like kind of like look yeah. how cute he is, <laughs> and like we don't mind because it is a really freaking cute baby. Yeah. Um, so we we're kind of along for the ride, and it, it literally is them throwing its own fireworks show. To me, it's like the Nintendo version of like the Avengers. <laughs> like they've done so much work mm. to get to this point. That they just kind of go like, we're gonna have a party. You wanna yeah. come to the party? We're gonna have a party. Yeah. And like, I, I really felt that, you know. And it's not bereft of challenge, but you never feel frustrated, which I appreciate. Like, I don't want it all the time, but it is something I really enjoyed. The other uh, game, and I only started playing it uh, yesterday because I really wanted to uh, get it uh, somewhat done before I uh, spoke about it, is Wolfenstein 2. Uh, yes. uh, I finished the first game in a mad dash and then I started the second game like within like an hour of each other mm -hmm. and um, it's one of the more interesting games I've played in that it's a shooter mm -hmm. but you like the shooting's really fun but it's kind of not why I play the game at this point right. because uh, a lot of it it's not lazy, it's very cookie cutter a lot of the time though, mm -hmm. uh, because you are kind of running it, like every level is essentially you have guns, whether it's two guns, one gun, one big laser gun, there's lots of variety, it's really fun, but it's essentially the same stuff, where you're running around, you're shooting, you're taking cover if you're smart, or mm -hmm. you know, you're a madman just going mm -hmm. and hoping for the best, mm -hmm. um, but every level is kind of like that, and let me tell you, 
there are some serious design issues as well. Uh, little things like um, picking up grenades uh, in the middle of a firefight. Like all you want to do is pick up these freaking grenades and what yeah, uh, you know like how they have the, I'm not sure what the, the term is, like a, let's call it the mouse, like the, the, the little circle that shows the select thing, yep. right? So you, you have to specifically, like say I wanted to grab a grenade, it's right here. Right, right there. Yep. If I go here, it's too far away. If I go right. here, okay. it's too far away. It has to be on center, or you don't pick it up. And in the and like I had this one thing just yesterday. It's in the corner of a box, and I'm getting shot at. All I want is this grenade. Just give it to me. Yeah. It was awful. So there are some definite issues there. But the game is really fun. But the reason I'm sticking with it is because. Again, this is a shooter, this is weird. Mm -hmm. The characters are really interesting. Mm -hmm. The story is really cool. Um, the first Wolfenstein dealt with, um, you know, the standard get revenge on the evil uh, Nazi, and now it's about liberating America, and this girlfriend that you had in the first game is now pregnant, but you as a character, BJ Blazkowicz, he's crippled and broken, and he has to use this, you know, power armor kind of thing all the time now, right. and he's convinced he's not long for this world, so he's having these, like, thoughts about, is it worth it? And in the meantime, he's got this racist dad who, okay. who you know, like, it's like, oh, I mean, 1960, so he's maybe 40, so 1920s maybe, mm -hmm. give or take, father, who, you know, um, sees him with, like, a black girl mm -hmm. and loses his shit. Like, like, tries to beat him up, and you've got a Jewish mother, and he calls her out on that. Like, you Jews, and I'm like, oh my god, what is this game doing to me? Like, it, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. So I am in love with those two games for entirely different reasons. You don't, um, but then they wouldn't be friends. Let's put it that way. Like, yeah. if, like if they're yeah. in the schoolyard, one's like, one's like the quiet nerd reading mm -hmm. the library. One's like beating up nerds. Yeah. Like. Um, so, you know, but like, you know, you like them both for different reasons. Mm. But they should probably just stop eating up guns. What's the next one? Okay, so now we have uh, Replenished's PUBG. PUBG, what a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's basically the only game that you've been playing on the streams. By the way, if you haven't been on the streams, check it out. It's on Twitch TV slash GameFed AU. Is it AU? AU? Pretty sure it is. Maybe it's not. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So I mean, there's not too much new to be said about PUBG. You know what I know it. Yeah. Uh, I don't play it, but not for lack of uh, wanting. It's a PC game mm. uh, right now. And honestly, I'm not really sure it will translate well to console, even if it does come to well, console. It, it's been um, announced for Xbox. Yeah. Um, and it really depends on, on yeah how it plays, how the how we all receive it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm. Uh, whatever, like if you, if you want to play a play, but it seems to me something that is kind of made for PC. I could be wrong, yeah. but it seems a bit like Counter Strike yeah. in that, like, yeah. you know, like you, you could port it, but I'm not necessarily, mm. necessarily sure it will translate. Yeah. I hope I'm wrong. I didn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I've always got the vibe that it's um, it's similar to DayZ in terms of UI and even just the gameplay itself. Mm. Um, in, but instead of fighting off zombies, you're fighting off each other. Mm. Um, which I guess you also do in Daisy. Um, True. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's a it's a good little fun game to play to waste your hours. What about budget? Yes. So his one is um, surprisingly Breath of the Wild. Why is that surprising? Because it's probably the best game of the year in itself. So you're being second? No. So why is that surprising? Maybe I'm being second. I'm confused. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't actually played uh, Breath of the Wild, you have a little bit. Yes, I've, um, I've played a little bit, um, Yeah, not too much, uh, but I, from the amount that I've played, I love it. It's, yeah. a, it's a great game. I've been a Zelda fan for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's just great. It's the icing on the cake for the whole Zelda series. Mm -hmm. The reason I haven't played it is because I'm a polite person, and mm -hmm. um, my girlfriend is hogging mm -hmm. the Switch when it comes to Breath of the Wild. Like, I don't want to play until she's finished. But uh, she became a Zelda fan, really, because of this game. Like it was her first Zelda experience, and I know, I know the, I know the um, excuses, right? She is playing it less and less and less, and I know it's not because she doesn't want to enjoy it, 
uh, or she doesn't enjoy it, it's because she's trying to savour it and trying to make it last. And I'm just like, can you finish the game so I can play? I'm really yeah. enjoying what I'm watching. And if it's got that effect on my very much kind of casual gamer girlfriend, I mean, she, she loves games, but it's very much Animal Crossing and, and you know, low, uh, low uh, immersion stuff. Yeah. Uh, for, for her to be like kind of getting lost in this kind of action adventure open world for the first time definitely says something. Ah! For Dan Freeds, he has recommended Shadow of War, yeah. and which this is, is interesting. Yeah, this is one that uh, we actually fought over. Yeah. Um, although he hasn't, I believe he hasn't played it. No. Uh, <laughs> he has high hopes. Mm. He has belief. He has although, faith. yeah, um, I played a little bit and it's. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. Um, it's on sale on PSN if you're interested. <laughs> I, I, I like it. Mm. Um, I probably don't like it as much as its predecessor. Oh, um, really? Why? It kind of limits the open world um, area. Oh. Um, and it's more, it's kind of like um, power defense. Ah. I guess. But yeah, it's yeah. I, I do remember that from reviews. It's more about defending your yeah. stuff rather than attacking it yeah. and all that. <laughs> So, Fair and, but it's like even with that, it's still a great game. That, you know, it focuses on that, yeah. on that storytelling um, that is Middle Earth. Yeah. Um, it's a few. It's it's been. A, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. In a yeah. It's a. It's been a few months now, so it's on sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they did a much better job, as far as I could tell, though, with the lore. Yeah. Last game. Mm. This game. She loves a pretty fat bait lady. I'm like, she's a spider. Yeah. She's a giant freaking spider. Where are you getting this from? Mm. Bait. That's where they're getting it from. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I, I, not every... I'm fine if the spider talks, mm. like even though she doesn't. Yeah. But like, you know, like you don't have to make every female character, you know, sexy lady to mm. get a point across. Like, it's not necessary. Yeah. I mean, ugh. Mm. So... Yeah, that annoyed the crap out of me. Mm. Um, so will you get it? I will when it's like cheap as anything, like maybe mm. like thirty bucks. I'll yeah. probably pick it up and uh, probably enjoy it. Yeah. But you know that. Just think about those. Yeah. Yeah, it, I get it pre-owned as well because I'm not supporting. Yeah. I'm not supporting the uh, uh, okay. microtransactions. Yeah. You'll get there though. Yes. Now the next one is Voiceless Echo, and her game was Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. So you got a bone to pick with this I one? I do, I do. But what did you like about it? Do you remember? Uh, well, I think it was one of the few games that um, she's you know liked about, uh, or the games that she's liked this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just it's one of those games similar to uh, Breath of the Wild, where you can just lose yourself. And, you know, right. Um, so. Okay. Well, yeah, I, that's certainly true. All of that stuff is true. It's a big, beautiful world, and if that's what I was playing it for. That would be great, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not. I'm playing it for story, and they make you really work for the story, and I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Um, at the, you know, when it comes down to it, I spent maybe, and I'm not exaggerating, I don't think, about 10 hours in between story missions, just mm -hmm. because the story missions weren't there. And there are examples from like 2009, Red Dead Redemption, you could go back, to the main storyline whenever you wanted. Yeah. It was never kept from you as a like like an excuse to grind. Yeah. Whereas this game, it just felt like that. I'm just like, I, I am bored of trying to kill robot pterodactyls. Pterodons, I'm sorry, pterodactyls <laughs> don't exist. Um, I, I just, I, I don't want to be doing this all the time. I'm fine of doing it some of the time, mm -hmm. but if I'm spending 30 hours in your game and I don't give a damn about characters anymore because, you know, like, who, who's this guy? Like, it's been that long, like, since I've had a story moment. So, I just, you know, like, maybe I'm being too picky. I did finish The Witcher 3, like, two months before I picked this game up. I was so excited, though. Like, the hype was real. Maybe that was my problem, too. Yeah, okay. Who knows? Um, but the point was is that it really, I think it kind of was a great concept. I love a good female driven uh, thing. I hope it gets a sequel that improves all the things. Uh, I love a good Viking theme and you can 
no. <laughs> um, it, I really wanted to like it. I just didn't. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad uh, uh, Voice of the Psycho liked it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about you, Kind of Uh I actually haven't played it. Um, yeah. Probably because I see too much similarities between that and Breath of the Wild. I guess that's. I, I think it's a coincidence, but you're right. Yeah, and they came out. I'd rather very, play Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I think, you know, if I did play it, I'd, I'd enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's some things like that where it gets tedious. And, uh, yeah. That, as far as I can tell from what I witnessed, there's very little grind unless you want to grind. Right. In Zelda. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that's the difference. It, grind should not be obligated. And mm. speaking of which, <laughs> what's your favorite game, Tom? Okay, so uh, this is a bit controversial, but my favorite game is uh, Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Burn the witch! Uh, Burn yes. her! Yep. So, explain yourself. Okay, so <laughs> ever since I was young, I've always been a Star Wars fan, and um, there was a story with you know, myself and my cousin. Um, he had Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2 on Xbox, mm. and we would play that all the time, um, right. mainly because I couldn't play Halo. Um, too much but, for you? Yeah, too much for me. Apparently my thumb never reached the top thing. Was, oh, that's uh, so cute! Yeah, that's, that's annoying! Apparently not. I think he oh, was just trying to make it cool box. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's always been a, um, a history with um, Battlefront in itself. Yeah. And um, you know, when I wasted a hundred bucks on Battlefront in 2015, um, I saw salvation in this. Uh, I wasn't too hyped for it, right. but I played it um, and I enjoyed it. Now yeah. there's there's been, um, you know, yeah, there's like it, it was a rocky start, um, and there's the thing, you know, with uh, microtransactions. You know, yeah, and it's 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 EA. You know, yeah. what do you expect? Um, you don't. You that don't doesn't have, mean you should you no, should let them get away. No, with it, um, yeah. but. You know, I think your point is valid though. Like from what I've seen and from reviews I've read, <laughs> they, as far as the game goes, they go, it's a good game. Yeah. It's fun. Yep. The story's fun. The the multiplayer is fun. Mm -hmm. They ironed out the kinks yep. of the last game. But the difference between developer and publisher is really, mm -hmm. really clear. Yep. Like the developers worked damn hard. Do you remember? Was it Dice? Yes, Dice. Dice, yep. Dice worked really hard mm -hmm. to make all that stuff happen. And EA unfortunately gets, you know, the smallest board yeah. rights and screwed over a good game. I mean, I don't I don't think I can justify playing it, it's just one of those things. Mm. I don't think yeah. I can justify picking it up. Uh, especially while we don't know what the whether microtransactions are gonna mm. come back. I'm fine again, I've mentioned this before, I'm fine with microtransactions. I have no issue with microtransactions at all. But they need to be fair. Yeah. They need to be cosmetic. They can't affect the game. If you want to do loot boxes, that's your business. Mm -hmm. I kind of fell down the loot box trap with Overwatch for a bit there. Yeah. Uh, and I realized what I was doing. I'm like, I am gambling. Mm -hmm. Look, they might not call it gambling. But it's it, gambling. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a one-armed bandit. It's a mm -hmm. fruit machine. You are pulling a handle and hoping you get what you want for a certain amount of money. If that sounds like a thing you want to do, Congratulations to my grandpa. Um, like, like, yeah, fine, enjoy, but mm. you're my grandpa. Yeah. Um, so, but that doesn't change the fact. I think it's, um, I, I think it is a good game. Yeah. So maybe I'll pick it up. I won't pick it up digitally. Mm -hmm. I'll pick it up pretty much because yeah. again, I'm not supporting that. So that is every team member's favorite game. Do you have a favorite game? Please let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. I'm Nido. I'm Jack in Action. And. We'll see you next year. Even though, holy crap, you're stuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Tom is hungry. <laughs> um,